We start with a point. Hi, everybody. My name is Rob Bryanton. This is the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog, and today we're going to look at an entry called Bees and Tangential Thinking. Now, last time in Psychedelics and Space Time, we discussed the aspects of our reality that come from extra dimensions and whether it's possible for us to perceive those additional spatial dimensions, which, by definition, are at additional sets of right angles to our 4D space time. Today, I'd like to look at one of our poll questions that have explored concepts related to tangential thinking. This was poll number 69 in the series. Uh, you can always find uh, new poll questions if you go to 10thdimension.com slash blog. Uh, this one read, are bees more sixth dimensional? Uh, the poll ended on August 9th, 2010. 40.5% said yes, while 59.5% said no. For somebody reading this poll by itself, I realized this must have seemed like a very strange question indeed. My blog entry, Are Bees More Sixth Dimensional?, should make the reason for this question more clear. In that entry, we looked at an article about a fascinating theory proposed by Barbara Shipman, a mathematician at the University of Rochester. Dr. Shipman analyzed the complex dance patterns bees use to indicate the position of new sources of food to each other. She discovered that the geometric patterns the bees used in the dance made sense if they were analyzed using a six-dimensional flag manifold, an analysis method also useful in solving some of the mathematical problems that arise in dealing with quarks. Uh, so I'm going to give you a link. Uh, do suggest uh, you read the entire article because it does present some amazing insights. Now back in Psychedelics in Space Time, we looked at Terence McKenna's passionate proposals that primitive creatures were by nature more aware of the extra patterns that are outside of our space time, and that as organisms like us evolved to become more complex, there was an evolutionary advantage afforded by narrowing our focus down to just the here and now of our current position within space time. Being connected to the cosmic all could well be a distraction when what you really need to do right now is focus on the hungry predator hiding just beyond those bushes. If bees really are using sixth dimensional geometry to communicate with each other, could this be an example of a creature who found a way to utilize a part of this extra dimensional awareness that McKenna suggests was actually the more natural mode of existence for living creatures? Could the numerous scientific studies coming out recently indicating that the cells within our bodies seem to be having conversations with each other be examples of how the simpler components of a living creature are still more plugged into these extra dimensional patterns? And might the nearly instantaneous neuronal patterns related to the formation of memory, which we looked at in Entangled Neurons, also be an indication that we still use extra dimensional patterns within our brain, even if we're not conscious of those actions? We've talked before about Stephen Hawking's famous quote. He said, I still believe the universe has a beginning in real time at the Big Bang, but there's another kind of time, imaginary time, at right angles to real time, in which the universe has no beginning or end. What is Hawking's imaginary time? I would say that if it's at right angles to our 4D space time, then it must be the fifth dimension. While I understand his use of time and imaginary time to convey these fourth and fifth dimensional ideas to the public, they do create some confusion. Calling the fourth dimension duration rather than time and the fifth dimension our probability space has been my suggestion for making these concepts more clear, something that we explored in more detail in Aren't There Really Eleven Dimensions? So perhaps Stephen Hawking is more fifth dimensional, but bees do him one better by being more sixth dimensional. An interesting thought. Next entry, we'll be discussing a simple but profound concept. Threes. Till then, enjoy the journey. <laughs>